Because I'm, I'm trying to like give you the better. I do now. want a relationship eventually. But not right now. I do want a relationship. <laughs> not right now. Right now. <laughs> I want one right now. <laughs> Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. If I have a man, I don't want to be like an independent woman. I want to be, I don't want to say dependent. Oh, God. <laughs> I want to be submissive, I guess. I That's know. not what you were saying earlier. But I'm saying like I don't go on the first date looking for that at all. Like I just go <laughs> and go with the flow. Like, it's not all about submitting and all of that all the time. Like, men and women can be friends, too. Mm, I agree. You don't agree? I do. I do. Yeah, I have a lot of female friends. Like, it's not always about competition. It's not but a competition. The, the reason I keep saying competition is because y'all keep complaining about dudes you don't want. And also, and not, you guys complain about women too. No, we complain about women because we're finding these things across the board. Oh, we're finding God. that women who are educated, women who are uneducated, women who are ratchet, women who are not ratchet, attractive, unattractive, all act the same. No, and we're that's the problem. You feel like we all act the same. We don't, yeah, again, but continue. Not, 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 not everybody, but I'm saying in large numbers. When I, when I make statements, I'm talking about broadly. Okay. So when, I, when I'm watching Kevin Samuel's show, Kendra G's show, like, y'all are off your rockers in mass. Not everybody, obviously, but in mass. And the worst part is y'all claim you want this magical dude, but you know nothing about him. And you're unwilling to change or compromise or improve yourself to be worthy of him because you think that he should like you for the same reason you would like him. He should like me because I'm a career oriented woman. And you know what I'm saying? I have big muscles and big feet. Those are dude things. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm being funny, but yeah, women don't understand the men they claim they want. So it makes, it makes me think, you know, me putting two and two together. You don't really want them. You just like the idea. You like the aesthetic of it. Maybe. Yeah. So I just want people to start being honest. I don't really, I don't want to yeah, be a wife. Is, it, it, there are a lot of women that just want the aesthetic in life and just want the wife and the husband and the kids and the nice house with a picket fence and stuff like that. But I think a lot of women also are realizing that that's not all there is to life. Mm -hmm. like I agree. There's, there's more to life than... Um, marrying someone and having kids and you know being emotionally emotionally available for somebody else like it's that's what i had to realize when i became single like it's more to life than trying to figure out who my partner is going to be and you know who i'm going to be with for the rest of my life like that's where a lot of women are in our life like we're just there right now and unless you can understand that then maybe you shouldn't try to be with someone who's at that point in their life. Because I've had a lot of men in my life that have tried to force their way in my life when I'm clearly not wanting to be in that type of situation. Like, and then they'll make you feel bad because you want to just focus on yourself or you want to just go out and have a good time with your friends without having to worry about coming home at a specific hour and stuff like that. Like, we have to realize like what what we want and set boundaries um in life period so so what do women want women want boundaries <laughs> we don't want to be we just want some space without so much pressure and so much put on us and you know 
Because like I said, we're being told that we got to go to work too and pay the bills too. So, I mean, it, it's not that we're being told that. It's just, that's just what we're doing. Because, I mean, even if a man told me that I didn't have to pay any bills, I'm still going to go to work. <laughs> I have to have my own, you know, and I don't feel like that. I should feel bad about that or I should, you know, that makes me a less of a woman because I want my own things in life. Like, I don't feel like I should just want what my man wants. Some things, yeah, you compromise and you want together and you agree on together, but. So this is a question I ask sometimes, you know. I don't know if it's going to apply to you because you're basically saying you don't necessarily want relationship from a traditional standpoint. Do you want a, uh, or would you prefer a leader or a partner? Mm, that's a good question. I prefer a leader. <laughs> Cause I want, <laughs> I feel like I can be not a partner by myself, but I can, you know, if you have a partner, that means you're figuring stuff out together and, you know, it's nobody in that situation that's like, hey, let's do this. And I think this is a smart thing. Like, I feel like a partner, I wouldn't need that because I can do that by myself. Like I can, we can have the same ideas and figure things out, but, you know, I want a leader in my life. Like, but, you know, but I can be a leader too, though, which is crazy. Like one of us, it, it, it kind of interchanges because sometimes the woman is the leader. Sometimes the man is the leader. So you want a leader, but you don't. I want a leader in the relationship at some point. But not right now. I do want a relationship, but I'm not dead set on like, that's not all that there is to life. I think why that's hard to compute. Because I'm, I'm trying to, like, give you the better. I do now. want a relationship eventually. But not right now. I do want a relationship. Not right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I want one right now. <laughs> but I'm not, like, butthurt if somebody isn't the one that I'm supposed to be with. Like, I'm not going to go on the internet and talk shit about all black men because... One tried to holler at me that don't have a job or that don't have his shit together. I want a relationship, but I'm not like, I'm not going to kill myself over it. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Do you want a relationship right now? No. Why? I can't deal with it. What, what can you deal? What can't you deal with? Well, it's, so from first and foremost, it's it's a me thing. I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience right now. And a woman wouldn't be my, like, I got more important things going on, right? So that's first. Secondly, um, it's a lot of shit in this dating pool. There's a lot of shit in the water. And sometimes... Uh, the shit doesn't know it's shit. Yeah. So, you know, for me, I'm at the point and I'm even getting even closer to the point where like I have a lot to lose. Yes. And I encourage men to get to that point in their life because you move different when you have a lot to lose. Mm -hmm. So when you're encountering people who are confused, other than WAP, all they could bring to your life is confusion. I ain't got time for that. Mm, okay. So that's part of it. Okay. So, but back to you. You said you, you, because you started saying that eventually. And then I kept asking, and then you said. I do oh, want, I, I want a relationship now, right now, now for the wrong reasons. What are those for reasons? For the reasons that everybody in the world wants a relationship. For sex. So I can have somebody to snuggle with at night. Like. That's why I say now, but I say eventually because in reality, I know that's not realistic. Like, I'm not just going to have this fairy tale where a man is going to come and he's going to be all the things that I need. And I just don't have the power or the <laughs> will right now to try to work with anybody or try to 
understand. <laughs> there we go. We get to the truth now. We get to like the I, truth. I don't. Because in a relationship, you, neither one is perfect. Like no one comes to the relationship just perfect as fuck. And, you know, no one needs to work on anything. And I feel like I know that. So that's what's making me say eventually. But the sex is what's making me say now. But realistically, I'm not ready for a relationship. Oh, these motherfuckers about to flood your DMs. <laughs> They're going to flood your DMs. <laughs> They're not, you want some sex? <laughs> They're not. Oh, well, I don't want them. Well, if they flood my DMs for that, then I'll just won't answer them. Like, that's fine if they want to DM me about sex, but... I don't have to entertain that, which is the great thing about being single. So, so you're admitting something that I've suspected for a while. I want a job for the paycheck. I want none of the responsibility. I don't want to have to clock in at a certain time. I don't want to have to wear a suit. I don't want to have to go to meetings or nothing. I just want the paycheck. That's essentially what you're saying. <laughs> no, it's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I want the... Use the job Just have analogy. a little cake, but not eat it too. <laughs> so you want to look at the cake? Yeah, I want a little piece of the icing or something. <laughs> and that's it. But yeah, like realistically, of course, I can't just be going around just fucking people. So <laughs> here I am. Now, let me ask you this. Do you feel confused? Do I feel confused? Yeah. Because you sound, you sound confused. Yeah, sometimes I feel confused, but it's okay. Like, I don't have to know that I want to marry somebody tomorrow. It's just a no, relationship. No, 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 I'm not talking about with the person. I'm talking about as far as what you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what the problem is? I don't care about that, though. About what? About being confused about what I want. But do you know what the problem is? What? What's the problem? You'll attract confused people. I agree. But like you hit the head on whatever you say when you say that saying head on the nail. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I hit the head on the nail. Yep. Yes, you're right. You attract what you are. And I do attract a lot of confused ass people that are really not set in their life and here I am like saying I want something but don't want something so yeah that's why I, I don't even have any like potential booze <laughs> because I'm just aggravated attracting those people so I'm trying to work on myself I am working on myself and I am aware that I'm confused about if I want to be in a relationship but that's a big thing to think about like I'm 28 now I don't feel like that's old. Like, I don't feel like I should be rushing into anything, but I don't know. I don't feel like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, yes. it's okay to not know, though. Like, you don't have to be just sure about everything in life. Dang, Alan. <laughs> I don't know, seen, okay? Have, have you ever seen The Notebook? Yes. You know, that scene in The Notebook, he's like, what do you want? <laughs> She's what? like... What? do you want that is my question to you ultimately so again you don't have to have all the answers right mm -hmm. but ultimately i think um men women everybody you should at least have a north star at 60 i want to be retired on a beach so obviously there are different ways for me to get to that beach and to get to retirement but i have to have a north star so like what is your ultimate north star and then maybe we can talk about some of the different paths to get to that north star my North Star is someone that's career oriented no, 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 not the like person, me. Not the person, but the life you want to have. I want to just be. Because if your goal is rich auntie, then you're perfect. Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> but if your goal is grandma and grandpa and companionship, then you are. You're on the wrong See, train. See, I don't know about that. Let's talk about it. Like, I'm sure about things, uh, like other things in my life, like my career and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, and what I want to do with my child and things like that. But 
I just feel like I put the relationship on the back burner. Like, it's just not a thing that's like, I see right now that I'm like, oh, I want to be with someone by the time I'm 35 and I want to marry him by the time I'm 36 and I want to have another child before I um, be turn 38. Like, I'm not there yet. I'm 28. <laughs> I just, I've been single for a little over a year now. So I'm really figuring me out. I was with someone for like seven years. So... This is I, I feel like I should be a little confused. I shouldn't just jump into something and feel like that's the sure thing and what I want. So to answer your question, I don't really have a North Star. I'm just out here wondering, like, need a compass, need something. <laughs> like, I don't know. And that's OK to be like that, though. But you also can't be like me and bash, you know, black men and make them feel like, they're not heard and, you know, they can't feel a certain way about certain things because there are a lot of women that are not like me and just go for anything and expect you to deal with anything. And I don't want that. I want a nice, I do want <laughs> just a nice, peaceful relationship. Like, uh, we're not going to agree on that, everything all the time, but someone that I could talk to and agree to disagree and understand where they're coming from and, you know, just build together and be able to lead me. But just not tell you when to come home. You can tell me when to come home, but if I'm single, no, you can't tell me when to come home. If we're dating, no. And a lot of men do expect that, like, I'll go on a few dates with you and now you Wondering where I'm at when I'm posting that I'm in a club at two in the morning or wherever I may be. I, I don't ask you that. I don't wonder where you at. <laughs> I don't. At some point, we have to have fun and not feel like everything is about being in a fucking committed relationship. Like at some point, there has to be a median, like before all the... I'm going to get married. And before you even think about like, okay, this is my North Star. It has to be some fun before that. Like, before you figure out where you're going to go in life with your soulmate, you know? 